to my Stroke channel. My name is Robert Zabies and I'm an ISK British Kickboxing Champion and today I'm going to show you how to throw that lead hook. The reason for why we throw that lead hook boom, is because that's a big power shot. Boom, we can stop our opponent in that fight. Boom, we got one simple shot. If we land it nice and clean, boom, boom, okay, to the head, to the body, there's a high chance he's going down. Because if you land hook to the head, okay, high chance your opponent's gonna go out cold, sleep, snooze time, okay? You get in there, you land one of them, you're out, okay? You literally got in there, you don't have to worry about taking any more damage. Or even if you land to the body, that hook lands clean, gonna create damage that's gonna last throughout the whole fight. First things first, we need to get in our stance. Lead hook for me, orthodox stance fire which means my right side's to the back. If you're southpaw, which means your left side's to the back, your lead hook, hook is gonna be your right side, okay, your right hand. So, the way we throw our lead hook, we wanna make sure is, when we throw the shot, hands stay up, we're gonna slightly slip and dip to the back, okay, we're gonna slip and dip to the back. We're gonna bring that lead shoulder to the back. From there, what it does, it allows us to load up our shot. So as I slip slightly to the back, I'm going to rotate my shoulder forwards and I'm going to come out and throw that lead hook. There's two ways you can throw them, okay? You can keep your thumb facing in or you can keep your thumb facing up. All preference, okay? But recently I found out that if you keep your thumb facing up, you get more power into it. But in the day's preference, I prefer keeping the thumb in. It just feels more comfortable for me. But if you prefer going lead, lead hook up, thumb up, okay? It's up to you each to their own. So, when you slip and you want to throw that lead hook, make sure you rotate that shoulder to the back and as you come out, you throw it here. Once you get your 90, once you get your elbow directly in front of you, you don't want to go any further because as soon as you go too far forwards, you leave yourself exposed to get hit, okay? Especially if you're doing a kickboxing, you're not just going to get hit to the head with your hands, you're going to get kicked, knee and everything, okay? Not to the head, but also to the body. So, when you throw that hook, you want to dip and you want to come out and as soon as your elbow reaches in front of your shoulder, in front of your face, you're going to pull it back in because now you're not wasting too much energy on trying to overreach and going too far back and plus it's quick to get it back in. When you're in, you do not want to drop your hand. When you slip, you do not want to drop your hand because as soon as you drop your hand, you're going to get walloped to the head, okay? You leave yourself exposed and the last thing you want to do is let yourself exposed, get hit, and possibly knocked out. Let's say you're in a five round fight in kickboxing, and you're dominating the fight. You're five rounds in, okay, and you're dominating the last round, okay, you've got 30 seconds left of the round, and you want to throw that big, nasty lead hook. Because you know, you know what? My opponent's tired, I'm tired. If I land this, he's going to go out. But then as you load it up, you drop your hand, you get hit, okay, that's it. That fight now, you could have lost it because you've just been hit massively, okay? You dominated it, but because of that one simple mistake, you're losing it. So when you throw that hook, stay tight and you only bring it out as you come back. So don't drop your hand, keep it tight. Okay, so when you're going to use the hook on the bag, we've got three different variations or, or three ranges. And then if you're throwing your lead hook from far out, what you want to do is you want to rotate your um, thumb all the way down because you want to land with the top two knuckles. If you try to throw a hook from here without rotating your thumb down, you end up slapping it. Okay? So, short range hook, we're going to thumb up, one, thumb in, mid range, thumb in, long range, thumb down. Okay? So that's your hook. Three different variations, three different distances on your lead hook. I'm going to use my cross to set up my uh, lead hook. So once I'm going to throw that cross, when I throw that cross, what it does is it puts me in that position when we start here, we rotate it. But now, instead of just rotating and trying to throw it, I'm going to rotate and throw that cross because my opponent now is distracted with that cross. He's trying to defend that cross. And as soon as he tries to defend that cross, this is going to come next. If you go high with the cross, you could go low to the body with the hook. You go low with the cross, you go high 
with a hook. So if you turn around, you can go both high, high, low, low. But if I go higher, high chance, you might go defend it, hands come up, body's exposed. So as I recall that cross, I've ripped that lead hook in. The opposite way around. I go to the body, he drops his hands to protect his body, head becomes exposed. As soon as I head is exposed, lead hook in. Okay, so another thing let's focus on now is your feet. For kickboxing, we do not want to rotate our foot too far over. Where for boxing, if you're just doing it for simple as boxing, you can't turn your fit, uh, foot too much over. I'll show it to you now, guys. So, when I'm throwing that lead hook, let's say I'm in a fight now, okay? And I'm just, we're still fresh, okay? And I want to throw my lead hook, but I know I'm in a danger. If twisting over too much and kickboxing, it leaves my leg exposed now. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna get kicked off. So as soon as I throw it, I turn over, my legs gonna get kicked off. So we don't really want to do this unless we know our opponent's against the ropes. He's tired. He's showing signs of fatigue. Then yeah, I can get in, bam, 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 and I can put my entire body into it. But if it's a fresh start of the fight, we want to make, bam, bam, bam. We keep that lead up. Nice and tight. We don't want one to twist that foot too much. If you are boxing, okay, that's fine. You don't have to worry about the leg kicks, so you can just throw them lead up and power it all day, every day. So, here, so you got to move around. Whenever I'm ready, I'm going to step in, throw that lead up. When you throw that hook for the purpose of kickboxing, you want to keep it nice and light. Oh, small movements. Come. Oh. Practice. Practice on the back. Come. Oh. So set up your hooks, okay? Once again, you can use that right hand. You throw that right hand, we slip into it. We dip that lead shoulder. Boom. Oh. Come back to it. Okay? We dip that lead shoulder. We come back to it. You can use any punch on your right side because that right side is going to load up that lead side. Oh. Go cross. I go rear hook. Lead up. I go rear uppercut. Lead up. Because the opposite side always loads up the next shot. Once again, we are fine. Boom, boom. You don't want to rotate that foot too much over, okay? We're getting close now. Now we can rotate that ball. We can put everything into that shot. But be careful because if you hit it and you can move backwards, you can still take that leg out. So you have to be careful. If you put your opponent against the ropes and he's got nowhere to move, bam, snap that hook in. Put it in, Boom. nice and tight. Here. Bam. Bam. Put your entire body behind that shot. But most important thing is, Remember, you need to rotate that shoulder to the back, bring it to the front, make sure your elbow doesn't go too far forwards because you leave yourself exposed. So as soon as you throw it, elbow took thin, okay? Don't slip here, don't drop it because this ain't a pub fight, okay? You ain't going on that out, get drunk and start swinging shots. You're in a professional environment, okay? If you're gonna get in there against somebody who's trained athlete, who wants to fight, who wants to win, as soon as he sees this, he's going to capitalize on it. He's going to take the chance to knock you out right there and then. So make sure when you throw that hook, everything stays tight. We keep nice and tight here. As we come back out, we keep nice and tight. We get back nice and tight. Don't leave any gaps for your opponent to hit. Another good thing to use is the rope drill. Okay, so uh, we used it on uh, our jab video, so you can check it out. When you throw the hook, you want to make sure your elbow stays level. So if you use that rope, just practice throwing your hook and keeping that elbow level with your knuckles or just slightly higher because once again, we want to land the top two knuckles. If we keep our elbow down, we're going to slap that punch in and it's not going to cause as much damage or it could cause an injury for us. So when you throw it, Elbow level or slightly higher. Use a rope, okay? Pull rope between bags, between two posts. And when you throw that hook, just make sure it goes over. Boom. If it goes over the rope, you know you're throwing it perfect. 
do not want to drop it, they want to go down here and try to swing it in because first it's going to catch the rope, well firstly you're going to get knocked out, secondly it's going to catch the rope, okay, then you know you're throwing a punch wrong, so get to the bag, tie the rope, even in, in the ring, go up to the ring rope, okay, if you're in the gym, and just practice going over, boom, as soon as the hand gets in front of you, pull it back in, because remember, to master the technique, you have to practice it, okay? You have to practice it daily. If you want to get better with your lead hand hooks, okay? Practice throwing it every day for hours on. As Bruce Lee said, don't fear a man who's practiced 10,000 kicks once. Fear the man who's practiced one kick 10,000 times, okay? Hope this video helped you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Follow my flat fight journey on Instagram at Rob underscore Zab. See you soon.